regardless if there's a criminal investigation, if, regardless if criminal charges are filed, the reality is why was she using an unsecure server mm -hmm. uh, in managing uh, sensitive communications? When you're at the State Department, every single State Department official is told, don't use the an unsecure server right. for official communications. Uh, why did she do it? And then the other problem that she has is that she hasn't been forthcoming in providing all the emails and finally the server. So they look and sound like they're lying. Alfonso Aguilar, executive director of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles on NBC's Meet the Press this Sunday, detailing the ongoing problems surrounding Hillary Clinton and her private email server. And uh, as we take a look at this, so many pundits and experts on the conservative side are tearing into her defense for the use of that private email server. And now her entire campaign team is on the defensive. But could it be too late? Let's uh, call on Edward Klein from Newsmax, New York. He is the best-selling author of the book Blood Feud, The Clintons, versus the Obamas. Ed, it's so good to have you back on Newsmax Prime. It's good to be here with you, J.D. Uh, one of Jeb Bush's advisors says the current investigation ultimately really doesn't have that much to do with the server, but has everything to do with Hillary Clinton uh, and her honesty. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. The, the FBI does not investigate servers. The FBI investigates people. And no matter what the Clintons say, she is under investigation by the FBI. And as that investigation continues, as um, the heat is turned up, do you expect Hillary to hang in there or will she hang it up eventually? <clears throat> well, you know, it's too early to say that Hillary Clinton is a dead woman walking. But it certainly doesn't look good for her. Obviously, Joe Biden doesn't think it looks good for her either, or else he wouldn't be seriously thinking at this late stage of getting into the race. She's vulnerable. She handles this scandal very poorly. The head of the FBI, Mr. Comey, is not bribable. And the judge who's overseeing the entire matter Emmett Sullivan is one tough guy, and he's not, going to, he's not going to allow the Clintons to push him around. You mentioned the name Joe Biden just a second ago, Ed, and we also heard that the vice president sat down with Senator Elizabeth Warren. What do you think the meeting was about? Uh, were any plans made together <laughs> by Biden and uh, by the senator? Well, you know, there's been a lot of speculation, of course, about that meeting that took place at the um, vice president's residence in Washington. Nobody really knows, except the people who were there, what took place. But it's clear as the nose on our faces that Elizabeth Warren represents, like no one else, including even Bernie Sanders, the left wing of the Democratic Party, the base of the party. And... It would not strain imagination to say that Joe Biden was asking her if he went in and threw his hat into the ring, could he count on her support? There has Whether been, he can or not, I don't know. Yeah, there's been some speculation, Ed, and we've got about a minute 30 remaining. Some of the reports said they're looking to team up, that Biden, if he decides to run for president, would take a one-term pledge. Do you, do you think there's anything behind those reports or that type of reasoning? Who knows? I mean, this is all speculation by a lot of different people. Uh, I heard that Jerry Brown, the governor of California, might come in and promise a one-term presidency. This is all, at this point, speculation. What I can tell you on the basis of my reporting is that there are advisors in the Biden camp who are begging him not to get in until after New Hampshire because they think Hillary is going to be roughed up big time by Bernie Sanders and the party then will come to Joe and beg him to come in. Timing. It's so important in politics. And speaking of time, we're just about out of it. Ed Klein, we thank you very much. Again, the name of the book uh, is Blood Feud. 
the Clintons versus the Obamas, and a reminder that you can get Ed Klein's latest reports uh, on his new blog, and his new blog is eponymously named. It's edwardkline.com. Ed, again, for your insights, analysis, solid reporting, and clearly labeled speculation that's floating around out there, we thank you very, very much for your time. Now, did Hillary Clinton, in fact, break the law? You don't have to have a legal degree to have an opinion. And we want to know what you think. So you can tell us, cast your vote by going to NewsmaxPolls.com. That's NewsmaxPolls.com. There's more ahead here on Newsmax Prime.